By now, the world has heard about the missing submersible Titan that was en route for a tourist trip to see the Titanic ruins at the bottom of the ocean. As a licensed ham radio operator, I have an innate curiosity to all things frequencies. So my first thought was, I bet that they are using sound to search for this vessel. A little bit of research confirmed, yes, that sonar is indeed being used. Sonar stands for sound navigation and ranging. And basically sonar is a way of acoustically locating objects. As the pictures appear, the visuals of hard surfaces are very sharp compared to soft, for example, a body would not be reflective. So the lack of reflection in itself would indicate the presence of something. Here is an image of the Soviet Navy minesweeper T-297, which was shipwrecked on the 3rd of December, 1941 in the Gulf of Finland. You can see how sharp that image is. From what I've seen and my own suspicions also, there seem to be three current theories about what's happened to the Titan. One, um, which is quite horrific, but plausible, is that it has imploded with the pressure of those deep sea waters. Now it's public knowledge that there has already been a lawsuit pertaining to the safety in particular of the viewing window, which the manufacturer of the viewing window had only rated to a depth of 1300 meters. And the Titanic is at about 4,000 4, meters. That doesn't bode well. The other thing that could have happened is perhaps an onboard fire. Smoke might have left the five crew and passengers unconscious. A third option is that the Titan became tangled in the wreckage and debris of the Titanic because since it sunk in 1912, a metal eating bacteria has corroded the structure. So just the debris alone is quite dangerous. That would make it very difficult for a rescue involving humans to get down there, basically out of the question. The only way that they could retrieve um, the Titan at those depths is with some sort of a remote operated uh, vehicle, a rover. I mean, so many questions. Let's move over to my map. On the map, we're looking way up here. Uh, obviously, uh, this is the area where the Titan is missing. As we can see by the terminal line, the gray line, this area, part of the world is in darkness now, which can only make search and rescue more difficult with helicopters overhead. And now Canadian military is sending vessels and uh, helping extensively with the search. But that is not going to be aided by the fact that it is now dark in these waters. We had a miracle recently with children being found in the rainforest after 40 days alone. And perhaps we can hope for another miracle with the Titan. Let's just hope for some good news. Take care.